This video is a review of the reaction rates chapter in the Chemical Thermodynamics and Kinetics playlist. We start by defining reaction rates, that the rate of a reaction as a function of time is equal to the inverse of the volume times the partial derivative of the extent of reaction with respect to time, which is going to be equal to, for some reactant, minus one over its stoichiometric coefficient times the derivative of its concentration with respect to time. If we had a product, this value would be positive. We can also define rate laws, where this reaction rate is equal to a rate constant times the concentration of each reactant to a power, which is called the order in that reactant. So a power of one would be first order, zero, zero order, second order, etc. You would say that the reaction is ma order in A, ma order in B, and ma plus mb order overall. So we get different uh, expressions for the integrated rate law for the concentration of the species over time, depending on whether the reaction is zero, first, or second order. For a zero order reaction, the concentration decreases linearly with time. For a first order reaction, it decreases exponentially over time. And for a second order reaction, the inverse of it decrease the inverse of it is going to increase linearly over time. We can also define the half-life of various reactions, how long it takes to go from the initial concentration to half the initial concentration. For first order, it's independent of concentration, it's the log of two over the rate constant. And for for zero order, it's going to be decreasing over time. And for uh, second order, it's going to be increasing over time. We can find rate laws by looking at experiments where we compute multiple uh, reaction rates at varying concentrations of our reactants. And if we keep all of the concentrations constant except for um, the given species of interest, we can compute its order by uh, this type of natural log comparison. Whenever reactions can go in the forward or the reverse reaction, what we end up getting is that the reaction ends up proceeding faster, where the net rate constant is the sum of the forward and the reverse rate constants, where the concentration is proceeding towards some equilibrium value, which is going to be determined by the ratio of the forward and the reverse rate constants. The rate constant is going to be determined by the Arrhenius equation, which tells us how it depends on temperature. It's going to equal a pre-exponential factor, times the exponential of the negative activation energy divided by the gas constant times temperature. Looking at the reaction coordinate, we can define what the activation energy is. We start at the reactant, we go up in energy to what's called a transition state, with the activation energy being the difference in energy between those two, and then go forward proceeding all the way down to a product with the difference in energy between reactant and product being the energy of reaction. So the reverse reaction would have uh, however much energy it takes to go from the products to the transition state as its activation energy, determining the reverse rate constant of the reaction. Links to individual videos in the on-screen annotations, as well as in the description.